What's up guys, Coach Rack here. This is my absolute favorite drill. It doesn't even require that you have a partner. Although if you do have a partner, you could even use it as a competition. Uh, it's my favorite drill across the board. Listen up. This drill is called the stay up the middle drill. I made it up myself. And this drill is, you guessed it, about staying up the middle. But Coach Rack, isn't that just what everyone does off the tee anyways? Not quite. Let me explain what makes this so unique. All right, here's how we do it. So we have the tee set up. This one's set up just kind of middle away. And I'm just gonna try to stay right up the middle with this. Boom, right off the L screen. Perfect. Now I'm gonna move the tee. We're gonna move this way back in the zone, okay? Different contact point. Now, from where my feet were previously, it's gonna be very hard to keep this ball up the middle. Everything's gonna to wanna to shoot away. But this is where, for this drill, I'm trying to just stay up the middle. Now, I'll tell you the really fun part about this drill in just a second, but first I have to explain why this drill is so special. To make good contact with the baseball, our barrel has to stay on line with the pitch for as long as humanly possible. So, if the pitcher is pitching the ball from over there, it's coming on a downward trajectory into the zone by a couple of degrees. I'm trying to get my barrel to stay on that line for as long as possible. Now, what a lot of us will do is, rather than keeping our barrel on the line early and then staying on line long through the ball, we will cut across this line and we're minimizing our chances of making square contact with the baseball. So, this is how this drill fixes things. Now, looking from a side view, because you guys will be able to see it a little bit better, right here, with this pitch here, for me to stay up the middle, it's not that hard. I take, kind of take my normal swing and that ball is going to be driven back up the middle. But if I move this tee back a little bit, it's forcing my barrel to get on that line a lot earlier. So right here, I have to create space behind the ball now, and then we stay up the middle. Now, with this drill, sometimes we might be a little unrealistic with where the ball is placed. But the goal here is to create adjustability. We're not trying to simulate game reps and get something exactly game-like. We're trying to get our body used to getting our barrel on line with that ball early in the zone and holding it on line with the ball long through the zone. So, if I can get on plane with this pitch here and drive it up the middle, that's awesome. And then I move this tee way out here in front. Now, in order to stay up the middle with that pitch, I have to really keep it, make it a point to keep my hands inside, boom, and then drive it up the middle. If I go through my normal tee swing, I'm cutting right across this thing and I'm pulling it, right? So this drill teaches us some adjustability and it keeps our barrel on line with the ball for a lot longer. You can try moving the tee up high, way out front, and do everything you can to keep your barrel on line with the ball longer and just drive it up the middle. Now when you're doing this drill, don't worry about manipulating your swing. You might have to a little bit, you might have to drift out onto your front side, right? There are gonna be some things in our swing that's not necessarily game-like. But the point here is to get our body accustomed to getting our barrel on line with the ball early and staying on line with the ball long through the ball. This is my absolute favorite drill. You don't even need a partner to do this drill. You could literally just have a tee and a bow net and you could just be hitting by yourself. However, if you happen to have a partner, this game is so much fun and you guys gotta try this. So go in a head-to-head matchup and this is how the game works. So, so one person will start and they can move the tee wherever they want to move it. So say the tee goes here, like kind of middle away deep in the zone. Okay, everyone's feet have to start in the same place, but from this position, I'm trying to hit a target. So here I'm trying to hit the L screen. So let's just say I'm going first, boom, I miss. I miss to the left. Now, my opponent gets to go and he gets to move the tee wherever he wants. Okay, just like horse. He moves the tee out front here. Okay, from here, let's see from this position. From this position, he hits it. Okay, now that person's opponent will have to match that, okay? And if he doesn't get it, he gets a letter. So, from here, the opponent goes. Oh, he missed it, he pulled it. Okay, that person just got an H. You could play this to horse, uh, you could play to cow, <laughs> I don't know, whatever you wanna do. But I love this game, it allows us to get some competition, it helps train our bodies to keep our barrel on plane early in the zone, staying on plane long through the zone. You guys gotta try this drill, let me know what you think in the comments. I make videos like this all the time, I'm Coach Rack, let's grow.